Walkman's Pain. I'm right here for the final preparation of the World Championships in China. So I'm actually building my competition bike now, measuring the handlebar. So standard handlebar is like 73 centimeters, and uh, I wanted to have 68.7, so I have to cut off around 3 centimeters. Very important, I do it as very precise because I don't want to have a different uh, feeling on the bike compared to my training bike. So here we're in Gata de Gorgos. It's a nice river full of like these insane technical rocks everywhere. Obviously I'm gonna try and take off from this little angle. As you can see, it just fits my tire. And then I'm gonna side hop up to this uh, shoulder height rock, which is sloped. So that's very hard. That was good. Took me too too many tries, but it's good. Yes. Oh. Very important right now: core stability and uh, short explosive movements with the squat bar. And then I'm gonna do a trials ride in the afternoon. And normally that's when I have my maximum power. Okay, second day, uh, second day in Moraira. One of the hardest moves in here is to take off from this little two centimeter point, it's super sharp, and then side up like 140 up to this. Uh, rock I can only do it like once every three goes so I need more accuracy now and I want to really be confident and be able to do this so uh, the more confident I am on the sharp technical riding the more comfort I have on the big uh, big moves so that's why I always train here it's exactly what I need, you know. Maybe the landing was a bit sketchy, but uh, I had a lot of height, enough height. And what I wanted was to have the control on that little, that little edge. Yeah, I'm getting ready for China. I can feel it. One of the best excuses to still compete after all those years is because then I really have an excuse to clear my mind and do nothing at all. Uh, yesterday I had a resting day and today to wake up again, do some fasted cardio, look at the views. Pretty insane. It gives me so much energy this place. Hello, hello. This morning I really had an off day. I couldn't do anything that I could do last week. It was so frustrating. So I had a lot of rice, a lot of chicken. I had a great recovery shake. And um, I hope now I'm warmed up for my second trial session. And it's really important that I don't suck because now it's all about uh, getting positive in the mind, getting a right mindset. So. I hope that all the things I used to do here right before World Championship last year, I hope I can do it again this year. So This is one of the hardest hooks that I've ever done in my entire life. It's like 
I don't know, I'm 180, so this must be like 195 with a uphill run up. And nothing is like, the whole surface is like sketchy. There's like this staircase popping out. Actually, I, I use it a little bit for my back wheel. I've done it once uh, last year, right before Antwerp. And now I want to do it again, but I'm telling you, there's no guarantees. I found an old mattress to protect my back in case I fall back on the uh, on the bin. Oh yeah, it is. I knew I was gonna do it. It took me a lot of tries, but it's okay, I'm happy. Ah. All right, all right. Another spot in the Calpe, so the famous Pignon de Ifa. So it's a, it's a beach town, uh, Calpe. It's very known for the cyclists. So that's where my house is. And this place is a 20 minute drive and to me is one of the best places in the world because I got like technical riding, I got like big side hops to the left to the right, I got uh, pedal ups like this one and so what I'm gonna try and do now is do all my all the hard lines that I usually struggle with in training. I'm gonna do it repetitively one after the other. I don't like to admit it, but I don't have power. I've been training too much. But this is the good thing. I still have like 10 days. So uh, I'm going to push it a little bit more. I just want to make this side hop. Even though I don't feel well, I did all the big moves that I should, that I wanted to do. And uh, that's very comforting because now I know when I rest, I can ride 20% better. So that'd be good. Today is a very important day. We're back in Valencia in the Trump in the Trust Park, and uh, I'm gonna simulate a competition, especially the World Championship. So five sections, two minutes each, one lap. So that's like uh, that's how the final's gonna be. I'm choosing all the lines that I haven't done before. I haven't practiced on them yet. So now I'm gonna do intensity and uh, competition simulation. Very important training today. Good. Yeah. Come and love the lyrics coming on my mouth, mouth. No, no, because we got the street respect. I you know say that it never got a fit yet. Vibe where you get. Pick up the bass up and make a burn up the place up. Make a pick up the pace up and make you move up your waist up. We them want to erase up. I will style them embrace up. But them can't stop the music so great up. Where we create up. Me say here and to hear me. I feel you tell them say straight up. One in a punk, one in a fool. Definitely ain't no beta. What if you listen to the lyrics for the rhythm of my state up? I from you love the sound. Make a see you and I wave up. I'm going to want to hear you shout, shout. Come and love the lyrics coming on. Okay, that was typically me, first section, I make a five. So what did we learn? I gotta warm up longer. So I always forget that I have to do really like the intensity. Once you get the chrono on and you, you start to ride, it's different. It's not a training, it's not an isolated move. So, so that's all like, this is the whole process that I'm going through now in my mind. Like, what am I doing wrong? And this is exactly what I'm always doing wrong in the World Cups. And that's something that may not happen in the World Championship in China because only five sections, one lap. You make one mistake like that and game over. So I really gotta have to use my head.
Body and stop from a night till a day And no matter what the hypocrite a critic wanna say Reggae music they are so fist there When me go so then move up for you You shout out Come you love the lyrics coming on my mouth mouth No no because we got the street respect How you know say that it never goes a feet yet Vibe where you get make you really want to shout out When you hear the lyrics coming on my mouth mouth No no because we got the street respect How you know say that it never goes a feet yet Vibe where you get come you know say you are shout out How you love the lyrics coming out the mouth mouth No no because we got the street respect How you know say that it never goes a feet yet Vibe where you get make you really want to shout out When you hear the lyrics coming on my mouth mouth Uh, 2-10 2-25 2-25 Happy face. So this was my last training in Spain before China. It's still like, uh, what are we today? 30, so it's a little like 12 days until the World Championship. But I got a travel day. I got a jet lag to, to eat still. So that's gonna uh, eat a lot of energy. But uh, now the only thing that will save me is rest. Mental rest, uh, get in the zone and uh, let nature do its work. I really uh, push myself. I'm really tired now, I got no more energy in my muscles and uh, now time for compensation, super compensation and get ready for the big day in China, November 10 and 11. Last day in Spain, now I'm training for the cross country eliminator, so I took the road bike, I'm gonna do a one and a half hour at a really high pace, there's a lot of uphill and I'm gonna use the uphill for uh, to do my sprint. Okay. Oh man. That was two and a half minutes of suffering. I see a lot of improvement already. When I did the first World Cup, 
in Germany. I could, I was already dying after one minute. Now, after two minutes 20, I can still push and uphill and go faster. And then it's good. I'm happy. I'm happy. Big improvement. Oh man. Why am I doing that? Final day of my two week training camp. It was really intense. I suffered quite a bit because um, I don't recover as fast as I used to do anymore. So every day you're tired, but you're still like pushing it, pushing it. And I really feel like now two weeks uh, of pushing the limits uh, physically and mentally that I think I'm, I'm gonna be ready, but I'm gonna have to take it easy a little bit now, just like two, three days off, have some massage. Then the travel day is also very easy. And uh, then one, once I'm in China, it's just gonna be quality, uh, maintaining the, the shape, uh, maintaining the level, not, uh, not do anything crazy, just enjoy the last couple of days towards the World Championship. And uh, I see you in China. And in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy this crazy scenery and hopefully catch a fish.